Hi friends, it's Chrissy here. So we're gonna do another exploring booth tour. And today we're gonna be exploring booth 31. And it has a lot of variety of items. So let's jump in. So right here at the beginning, he has a rack of glassware. We have this old J.R. Ewing private stock beer can. I wanna say this is from the 80s. Cause I kinda, Oh yeah, it does say here on the side, 1980. Yeah, so um, you'll probably get something worse than the current virus if you would drink this now, but hey, to each his own. It's just for a decoration. A little bit of Christmas, Valentine, they're celebrating all the seasons. I love, I have like all different character glasses in my kitchen that we use on a daily basis. A cute Kermit mug or glass for $4. That was from McDonald's. This one... I think it was Burger King, the robot one. Oh yeah, Burger King robot. We have some Bush beer glasses, $4 each. Flintstone glasses, $3. This is a very pretty uh, non-marked piece of pottery. A dollar, seriously, only a dollar? That's beautiful. Um, this is a cool vintage glass. You can see the gold leafings coming off of it a little bit, $2. Some Coke glasses, a 7-Up glass. This is kind of cool, this ribbed one, that's $5. Um, they have some galvanized zinc mason jar lids with the inserts. I've had people sell these anywhere from $0.75 cents to 4 bucks a piece, and they usually go. Norman Rockwell plate is $6.00. Um, just, you can see these miniature one pint milk bottles, $7. There's a little bit of everything, wooden boxes. Now this wooden crate, it's pretty good size, 18 by 27 inches, $40. I don't think there's any markings on it, but people use those for shelving, storage, all sorts of things. So let's see, you can see there's more. This is a pretty signed piece of pottery. Crystal glass etched base, $10. Vintage cheese board. Enamelware. The barometer. Looks new in the box, never even used. 16. A wooden easel. You can see just quite a variety. Uh, this looks like an old cast iron muffin pan, $20. This is a Wagner. That's $40. And these are $12, I guess, for unmarked ones. Uh, brand new coloring books for grown-ups. These are really nice. Uh, a baggie of hardware, $4. Another baggie of hardware, 8 so if you're a, per a person that, you know, redoes old furniture or upcycles, you can always do these and paint them whatever you want. Let's see, a meat cleaver, $9. So, I don't know what this guy is. He's about as tall as I am. I don't know if you can see him. He's holding a hose. Let's see, what does he say? Farmer yard decor. I feel like he has a purpose, but I don't know what it is yet. A vintage green ore, twenty dollars. Uh, National washboard is thirty. And you can see just quite a variety. Here is a telescoping tripod. Looks new in the box. Eleven. Uh, Rawlings bat. 16. Wow, an old waffle maker. A gas can of 17. You can see just a little bit. These beer goblets, they go through phases. They're four bucks. There's a PBR one. Pap, pap, Paps Blue Ribbon, can't talk. Um, these are fun. Couples glasses, if you have to go to a shower, a bridal shower or something, or wedding, those are fun to put in. Oh, and they have some more up here. But, oh, these are 
vintage thermo made in the USA 750 but they have the Clydesdales and we're close to St. Louis so they're very iconic and popular around here um oh look at the old frosty snow cone maker ten dollars popcorn angel food cake I wish a while back we had a square angel food cake and I don't see many of those so I thought that was pretty cool they got you can see new gloves replacement uh light bulbs phone cords like oh my gosh I remember does anyone else remember having landline phones and stretching these out from room to room to try to get your privacy um yeah those were the good old days on the telephones so you can see just a quite a variety saw blades this is a really nice brass door handle and that is nine so these pulleys you can see this one's about that size and it's 35 this one's cast and steel it's 37 so that one's 24 we got a little hand crank bench grinder 45 so little vintage stool 20 look at those coat glasses would be fun for summer so quite a few things he does have and i think these are Valentino cashmere gloves, $56. They've been here a while. So, kids' jewelry. Quite a selection for you sports fans. A little milking stool. So that's kind of a brief summary. These are very nice work gloves. So... That's kind of a summary of booth 31. Oh, there's a few more things here in the front. You can see them. These little trucks, carnival glass, a fun roller derby skateboard. So, but I wanna stand back here and kind of show you. So when you're walking through the mall, this is the front presentation. So some people are hesitant to go into booths like this because of that little wall. They feel like it's going to be tight quarters and they may feel intimidated or they may feel like, oh, I might drop or break something. When it's open, it's more inviting and more people will usually go in. This, you're limiting the amount and type of people that will actually go explore your booth. Another thing that they could do to actually make this more appealing is to cluster like things together and kind of create little, I don't know, eye appealing areas. Even if you do color, if they're not like things, do like colors. Any kind of clustering or anything to make like curb appeal, just like when you're selling a home or car or anything else, the prettier you make it on the outside, the more chances you have of getting the clients and potential customers into the booth. So same way here. So they have some really fun things, but I think, you know, that's one thing that they're cutting the chances of their potential shoppers in half by that. And this isn't stuff that I make up. This is stuff that customers tell me. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, that is all in booth 31. There's a lot of smalls in there and it just goes to show in an eight by eight area how much stuff you can actually get in. So till next time, I hope you enjoyed that and stay awesome. And I will see you on another booth tour series.